Hey, what's up YouTube? So guys, I've been searching through a bunch of pennies that we've been opening the last couple of days, and I have found a couple of coins that are kind of oddball, and I don't know exactly what to think about them. I thought I would show you. Uh, they're very interesting, so let's go check them out right now. All right, guys, these are the two coins that I am looking at that just seem a little odd. Not exactly sure what is going on with them. Let's take a closer look. So the first one here that we're going to look at is the 1970D. And what I found on this one, when I looked up close, uh, it's real weakly struck on the on the, the mint mark. And part of his jacket is actually missing. Uh, the lapel part of his jacket, from, that would have been his left side. And then over here on this one, uh, this is a 1975D, and uh, the 7 and the 5 don't seem to line up correctly. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, they should be straight across. The top of them should be straight, but they're crooked. Uh, and I've actually looked it up online, and s a couple of other people have found some similar to this uh, with a crooked 5. Uh, mine happens to have a crooked 7 as well. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's uh, some error that I don't know about. I just thought I would show this to you guys. Let's throw on the macros lens and take a closer look. All right, here we go. All right, we have the macros lens on. We're gonna zoom in here and get a little closer. Let me zoom this in even more. There we go. Get in nice and close. And as we get in close, look at the uh, D underneath 1970 you can tell that it's just really thin um i don't know it's just very very thin and if you look right below the d where his lapel starts to go up toward his neck it disappears it completely disappears uh that should go all the way up to the bow tie and a lot of it is gone so i don't know what is going on here if that's uh maybe dye deterioration or over polishing maybe i i just don't know guys it's very very interesting and watch this as we get even closer when we get really really close you can also see a couple of uh, die cracks going from the rim right into the nine it goes right above the d and into the nine and actually i think it goes past in through the one and then there's also one going into the seven from the uh, rim of the coin as well. So there's two die cracks in this. Just an overall interesting, very interesting coin. I uh, just thought I'd show you guys. Um, and there you can, there again, we can see uh, the missing lapel. I'll show you, I, I will post a photo of what a coin should look like uh, with the lapel going all the way up, just so you can see. Uh, even like next to that lapel, there's a whole gap there that that should not really be there. I don't know if this is over polishing. Let me know what you guys think. Post it down below. We're gonna go over to this other coin real quick. Okay. And this, guys, is a 1975 Denver. And you're gonna notice it right away. Look at that. How crazy is that? So the five is tilted, like the five and the seven both are tilted really, really crazy. Now I know that, you know, something, you know, there, there's a possibility that uh, it, it had been banged around, but I've never seen anything like this before. And I have found other examples of this online, other people finding them uh, with the tilted five. And uh, I so far I haven't found one with the tilted seven, but this is really, really odd. I'm going to show you again what this should look like, guys. Uh, we'll throw up a photo and zoom in. You can see that the 7 and the 5 should go straight across. Uh, should be flat. And they are super tilted. Also, look at the lapel on this one down below the D. You can see that the lapel goes all the way up to the bow tie. And when we go back to this one, you can see that that lapel completely disappears. So it's, it's crazy that I even noticed that. But I just happened to, uh, you know, really inspect these coins and uh, I noticed that it was completely gone. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, throw your comments down below. Um, like I said, there has there has been a couple of these found. I don't know if this is a variety 
or what happened. Maybe there was uh, some die damage. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Post it down in the comments down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time. And as always, guys, happy hunting.